The way you're going right now, you won't have a husband or a man. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Boss my brain. And I'll be honest, man. If you were a man, they'd call you a loser. Kevin! This video is an attack. She should have known better. Hey darling, welcome back to my channel. My name is Omi Odikin Wachiku and guys, I present to you a brand new show called Put Your Big Girl's Panties On. This is for my sisters who need advice, who need help, you get me? Relationship is pretty tough. You see, as women here, yeah, I feel like, first of all, there's no manual to life, manual to these things that we're supposed to do or not to do. So we end up winging these things, right? But we need somebody who has gone before us to come and tell us, okay, when you were 20, how did you survive? When you were 30, how did you survive? Like, what did you do? How did you bring yourself up? And the worst thing for a woman to do is get, you know, her manual from the wrong person. Like, take, for example, taking relationship advice from a guy, telling you what to do, how to do, how to live your life. I understand why he would a guy would think he can tell me what to do in a relationship because I mean he's a guy he knows how guys think and he dates girls but he's not a woman do you get what I'm saying he's not me hasn't lived my life hasn't been around women like me hasn't dealt with insecurities I might have gotten being around women it's not me today we're actually reacting to Kevin Samuels camp okay I don't know how to call his name and I'm not trying to diss him Kev I think it's Ke Kelvin Samuels yeah Back into his video, I've been hearing about him. I think in the relationship space, how to be a high value woman and man, he's big, especially in America, yeah. And I haven't ever watched anything that he's done ever. I know I, I hear about him, but I haven't watched anything until this interview that I watched. I was just like, what? Let us start. Put your big girl's panties on, man. What's this? What's this? What's this guy telling this girl? So today, you and I will be watching this. I'm going to pause a little. I'm going to skip some things that I feel are not necessary. I mean, if you guys want the full, we can't break it into two. I don't know how we're doing it. We just need to talk. You and I will watch it together and just have a proper conversation about this guy. What do you think, right? So apparently, he he does this. Um, Correct me if I'm wrong, but he does these Instagram shows where people call in and ask him questions. So this lady calls in to discuss her life and relationship. I'm just like, hmm, okay, let's start. Do you want to be married one day? Uh, of course. No, it's not really of course, why? I want to get married because I just, it's not more so of the marriage, like the certificate, it's more so of the union. Like I want another man to want to spend his rest, the rest of his life with me, just like I want to spend the rest of his life with him. So it's more so like the union, because marriage, I feel like, Okay. Uh, what part of the country do you live in? DMV, Maryland. Before they even go for that, let me just state something, yeah? Do you want to be married? Yes. Why? I want a guy to want to spend the rest of his life with me the same way I want to spend my life with him. Do you want to be married? Why do you want to be married? Not the guy. Why do you want to be married? It's when I find the perfect fit. I fit, he fits, then we're good, right? And then... This girl is going on to say, oh, sharing the assets and do you want to be married? You know, let me say, I can't believe I'm already going deep into this. Like, I really want to get into the crux of the matter. But I feel like my, the way I define marriage is something that I want to give you so that you run with it or you want to assimilate it. But let's, let's, I'll get there. See, one thing that, that shocks me about so many of our women is we are so rebellious as a, as a culture. We rebel against construct conformity. It's like we we like vibes more than structure. What do you, you mean like so going to structure? What do you mean structure? Everything thing that you said it's not about. The legality things. All the But do you think the government kinda of put that in play to kind of like it's just like so it's you, it about the You're love. asking me you're asking a question and you I, start answering. Oh my god, I can't believe this is just two minutes and I'm confused. What does the government have to do with your marriage? You know, because the way we project ourselves is really how people talk to us, right? Because now this now Kevin Thomas is already talking about how black women are already rebellious. Already, this is like war. This is one minute into the interview, and I'm just like, break it down. See, look, we will learn from this. Watch, listen. 
Yeah. Were your mother and father married? Yes. They're married still. How long have they been married? I mean, before I've been born, so I'm going to say like tw like 29 years. Like they got were, your, were your friends, are their parents married? Some of them are. are it's like a, now, you, know, you know how Now, it's not, what percentage of your friends, mother and father, are married and are still married? I honestly want to say half and half. Like, honestly. Like, I want to say, I have my friends who, you know, grew up mom and dad both in the home. Are they black? Yeah, I mean, most of my friends, yeah, most of my friends are black or like mixed race. What's the what's the marital rate in the black community? The marriage rate in the black community now, and I remember watching one of your segments. 30%, 30%, 30%. The day. So I don't understand at 26 years old, honestly, why you're coming into this with this whole what the government did and yeah. why they did. Why is that even in your mindset yeah. at such a young age? More so, like, okay, with marriage, it's just like, say, say if we were to get married, right? And say if we were to get divorced. It's just the, all the other the stuff that come with that, like. Right? So I want you guys to understand, any decision made in fear, scarce, then like, understand what she went. She went yeah. all the way to, if I'm the one in four black women to get married, and then if I'm one of the 80% of women who filed divorce, why are you going... All the Why are you going all the way? Oh man, I want to. Jo oh my gosh! At the end and the horror. Why? Why? At 26 years yeah. old, why are you jumping all the way to divorce? Please explain. And you and, and honestly, that's really a good question. I mean, of course, it's not something that I want. I don't want to get divorced, but it's also. Just well, that's what you talk about. I mean, that's ma'am. When you came in talking, so if your mother and father are married almost 30 years, and half your friends and come from. New nuclear families, why do you come in talking like a woman who's seen the worst parts of stuff and worried about the government and structure in divorce? You sound like my dad. The you sound just like my dad. But where'd you and get this like, like where'd you, But where'd you get this mess thing? Where'd you get this garbage from? I think I was watching the, you know, Vlad and on a Vlad interview and I seen the Cannon me, I, I've discussed it before, but Nick Cannon was basically Oh about, my god. I forgot, don't quote me, but basically how the government like just keeps track with your like just keeps up with your money. Like love is about the human. That's bullshit. Like the oh my god. Oh my For I told you I was going to get to defining what marriage is. Let me tell you what I see marriage as. Life is a journey, right? So marriage to me is a partnership on the journey. So it's like I'm on my journey, you're on your journey, and we meet. And we're like, you know what? Let's run this race together. The race of life, the race of success, the race of childbearing, the race of everything that life has. Even God, our mission, our purpose. Let's run it together. That to me is what marriage is. This is why we have the show. First of all, you're talking about divorce. Your parents are still married, baby girl. You're talking about divorce. And now they tell you, how did you get? And you're talking about Nikanon. But then, but then, I mean, I don't blame her. Do you know why I don't blame her? Let me tell you why I don't blame her. I don't blame her because, first of all, social media, even like, I don't know, the stories here and there about people even getting divorced is like, it's projected well online. Oh, these people got married. Oh, they are divorced in six months. Oh, man, that's so crazy. Before I got married, I also had my own cold feet as well. I did. I wanted to make sure I was earning enough money. I wanted to make sure financially I was capable. It was literally God had to just tell me, see, honey, I've got you. I've got you from the beginning of the time till now. I will hold you even in marriage. Don't worry. Go in. Do you get me? And I mean, even online, if any if couples come and talk about their marriage and why it is working, it feels like people will be like, ah, you're talking about your marriage. Are you not afraid? Hide that's it. In. Hide your marriage. Hide it. Let nobody see that's good. Let nobody's eye be on the marriage. So then what we as young people are seeing online as people who just have the wrong stories to tell about marriage, people who are that's I'm telling you, being single, be getting married when I was single, I literally was seeing divorces in my face. So I understand why somewhere in her head she has taken it in, but your parents are still married, baby girl. So for you were <sighs> okay, let's go on. Hey man, Nick Cannon, shut the fuck up. This, this dude got like 18 women pregnant right now. <laughs> but if you think about it... No, I need you to be quiet. Because you're listening to a guy who's a multi-millionaire who wears a turban. And I'm saying this because you cannot talk about what a celebrity and a creative does. 
Yeah. That's one of the major flaws in our community. We're the only people who let the celebrities, athletes, and entertainers speak for us where other groups of people, let the business people and the academics and the politicians speak. Why are you going to let people speak to you who perform for a living and who don't live a, a normal life? And then you're going to listen to uh, what Nick Cannon, who, how many women, is, how many women are pregnant with Nick Cannon's child right now? A lot. So you're going to listen to this man instead of your father who gave you a stable upbringing. And you're going to listen to Vlad TV. I, I, what I'm trying to understand is you say you want to be married one day. Correct. But your, your mind, the field of your mind is where a man has to plant his seed and your field is contaminated. You think so? Okay, I guess, like, listen, it's like one of the things where it's like, understand, and we did kind of start off on the wrong foot of where like my mind did kind of went. My friends just text me like, I, I, I love this man. Like, turn, this, turn, turn, turn off the comments, please, ma'am. You can't do no, that. No, my friend texted me. Okay, but what I need you to do, okay? Oh. I need you to focus. Oh. I'm running the show. And, you, and you're all over the place. And I'm trying to have a conversation that's going to help people. You're looking at comments and everything else. Let's just have the conversation. Okay. I respect that. Go ahead. So, at 26, life should be full of optimism and possibility, not this garbage you're talking about. Where did this come but from? To be honest, so Kevin because that's what is like literally in their faces. That's why I have this show. Why? Because I can only imagine the life of a 16-year-old child right now. Oh my gosh, do you know how big social media is right now? Do you know the kind of stories are put being put out on social media? Imagine a 16 year old, 17, 18 year old girl on Instagram watching people who are 30, 32, literally, man, lying about their ages up and down, but they're 30, 32, 35, flying out with big cars and hanging out with guys and kissing guys online. This is literally what these people are watching. So if you're still asking this question, then obviously you don't even understand the level that we're dealing with. Because the reality is that's your level. That's literally what she, I mean, imagine where she's example she's giving is Nikanon. That is the problem. You want a marriage? Because let's be clear, I'm 26 and the objective is to continue to build my business. I'm a oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh no, fuck. Can, Here we go with this. Downplay it. Downplay all this shit. I, 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 oh Kevin, my god. You can downplay no, it. No, like, no, 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 no. When do you we start? Not, do not over talk me. I don't care, care about a 26 year old's business. Here's the problem. So many of our women feel like they got to go get all the pieces of your life together. And then you think you can come fit marriage in. Why does every other, why do non-black women can seem, everybody can seem to go do all the stuff y'all talking about doing and still be married and have families. Y'all feel like marriage and family is something to do after you've got your business together. When is, like, when is really the right time for marriage 20, and family? It's like 22 years old. Okay, now this is now, this is now the beginning. See, this is now the beginning where I'm just like, okay, there's a problem. Do you get me? Because... I mean, let's be real. Once you get married as a woman, your own routine changes. It literally changes. That right now, you, you have to care, you know, in your home. It changes a lot, right? One. Then secondly, I mean, I, I want mother to talk. The minute you give birth to your first child, you, you can want to grow your business, but you know, I believe that you start to grow your business before you get married because I did it. And I think it worked for me. And I'm not going to lie. Some people do it while they are married. But I am happy that I was able to let go of the rat race of um, employment and start my own business. Because right now, at least we have a form. At least we have a stepping stone. Do you understand? And then he says to be married at 22. I said, lady, I don't even buy it at all. At 22? Do you even know what you want? to achieve. At 22, I was sure I went to be in finance. I actually was in finance, studying finance, but I wanted to be a presenter. I wasn't sure of myself. I want me to be married to somebody. No, bro. I believe I need to find myself. To me, there's no even age limit to get married. This is the problem. This is why a lot of women put each ourselves under pressure. There's no age limit to be married. Find the right person. Or meet the right person and get married. Build, but while you're in the look for the right person, build yourself up. And, oh, man, we can't go, right? But let's keep listening. 22. First, I, like, have a kid at 22 when I'm a baby myself. Don't think I'm a goddamn baby. baby. 
Yeah, what are you talking about? Don't, don't, don't try this shit with me. Now, see, we're about to go off the rails. You, don't answer a question with a question. Are you here for, are you here to argue or are you here to get enlightened? Because you seem like you, because since we're out here, did you go to college? Yeah, I mean, no. I mean, okay, I what's your, college, okay. Uh, what's your major? Business. 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 What are their businesses? Some form of hair, lashes, uh, uh, some sort of multi-level uh, marketing or real estate. It's not a business. But what's wrong with that, Captain? He's not a business. You see, I, 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 he's not a business. I swear, he started off on the right foot. But how you tell me hair and makeup and, I don't know, lashes is not a business. Why? When there's such a high demand, what is a business? Supply of demand of a of demanded product. This is this is I mean this is not my banker definitely. This is just me flowing. You get me. But basically, it's a marketplace where people buy and sell things. If I see that there's need for hair and I have know a lot of girls who like hair, guess what? I my business man is going to do. I'm going to go and bring hair and sell it. And the moment I sell it and I realize that these people are telling their friends about it, well, guess what? I'm going to put my name on it and brand it and sell it. I'm going to also try to start to build a whole team and structure around it so why would you say that is not a business and then he's saying um do you come here to argue or to well I, I don't even know what this show is about to me i feel it should be a conversation you're not trying to lord it over her and put your mentality into her no you need to hear where she's coming from where she's coming from will not tell you how to lead her but you cannot want to lead how can you just want to talk to somebody now boom that's not your business. Keep quiet. Let me talk to you. Without even knowing where she's coming from, her past, you will leave her confused. The moment if she listens to you, she will leave that place totally confused. I'm asking because I want to be enlightened. Why is What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Yeah. What's wrong with it is what does what is life about? Being happy and creating memories. Life is about people. Okay. Okay. So go into that. When the coronavirus hit in 2020, where were you living? With my mommy and daddy. And your mommy and daddy, right. As a 26-year-old woman with your mommy and daddy, the family and the unit they built, what's wrong with what you're talking about is so many women who share your reflection who are in their... Please hold the phone still. So many women who show your reflection were stuck in their houses, their apartments by themselves with nothing except these so-called jobs and so-called businesses. Sure. Yeah. Man, what about building a, a, a lash business? Keeps you from being in a, a healthy, committed relationship, building a family. But also, Kevin, you have to remember. What to keeps you, what about building a lash business keeps you from being in a healthy, functioning, committed relationship, building a family? What keeps you from doing it? That's the thing, Kevin. Absolutely nothing, but it takes two to tangle. So if I'm ready and I'm ready to commit, you're not, take the time. You're not ready to commit. What makes you say that? Ma'am, I'm talking to a teenager right now. No offense, oh but I'm, 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 I'm talking to you because... At 26 years old, you're bouncing all over the place. But when I asked you when times got tough, you said mommy and daddy. That's not what a 26-year-old adult says. What do they say? And, and, well, I mean, and I stop. I, was, I, I am an old mother. My, yeah, I know. Stop. You can live with your parents. Hmm? I finished university, let, went because I schooled in a different state, moved back to the state I was in, that my family was in, or are in right now, Lagos, stayed with my sister for a while, raised enough money, moved to my own apartment, because, I mean, he says we should stay on our own, Abby, worked there for a while, started to build my business, because I, cause I needed, I had more things in me than what I was currently doing, right? And, I mean, your own business takes a lot of your money, and I moved back to my mother's house. It was until I moved to my mother's house, 
and I was able to invest a lot on it, I would tell any business person, provided when you're in your parents' house, you're going to, because I was doing quite a lot, I was paying for electricity, you know, I was donating money in the house to buy food stuff. I made sure that there was always, my life was, my house was always lit. It was always filled, uh, like, you get me? It was not light. It was, yeah, so when you come, you feel the Omi effect. But it helped me to save a lot of money. If you are doing business, you are allowed to stay anywhere you want to stay. Hmm? What's important is your goal. That's what I feel, you know. It's your goal and your bigger picture. When I went to move back to my, my mother's house, I was afraid, I was worried that, oh my God, that means I'm a failure. Oh, it's not working. They will laugh. I don't even have a room. No, 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 the world will laugh at me. But look at me, like, there, I got my, I built an office, got a table, got laptop, got, you get me? Like, what, what, what are you saying? But it's you that put yourself there, called him. And I, I'm not going to argue with, yeah, she sounds up and down. She really does. She sounds scattered, which is why we need to have a girl chat, girl conversation there. Yeah. If you know that, I mean, look at this video. This video has a... 639,000 views. If you know that you're going to be on a platform where the world is going to watch you, the least you can do for yourself is compose yourself well. Hit. You cannot get to the point where they are saying, shh, don't talk, I want to talk. Wah, baby, like, why are you still there? Do you get me? Well, and, and, and not why are you still there, like, leave. Why are you still there? Like, you need to work on yourself and know how to assimilate and i say this thing a lot this was one reason interviews was very easy for me it was so easy if i went for 10 interviews i got eight of the jobs and i'm not even bragging let me tell you why of course i ask god for understanding which is important with understanding comes assimilation when you're being asked a question listen to the question then answer the question don't get the question and already start answering the question or side just listen then speak the answer you get me exactly i know but listen, can I, can I no i don't out? know no no you need to listen because okay. this is why so many black men what, what do y'all want black men to marry women who are fear-minded yeah, scarcity sure. minded lack minded yeah. who all want to be business owners and bosses of lash businesses man as in the way he's saying the lash business is like to him, that's like that's so dumb. Lash, hey, what's my brain? Oh, hey, lash businesses. Talk to me, Kevin. <laughs> oh my god. No disrespect intended, but that is a joke of a business. It's nothing. Oh it's god. a lifestyle business. But it's Kevin, a like light, ma'am, a business. Look, due respect. I'm a business owner and I don't even call myself what a lot of you guys call yourself because I don't have employees yet. To have a business, you need to have employees. You're living it, you're 26, no college degree, living at home with your parents. Correct. Talking, like, Kevin, talking like a boss. Kevin, listen though, you're not listening to me. I'll let you speak. Let's have a but conversation. You're not listening to her. Listen, everybody's different. If I could easily move out like that, I but do you, I want to move out and make it make sense, though. Like, everybody, like, I could easily move out and be somewhere in, in an okay neighborhood apartment. But I want to move out. I'm building my credit. I'm saving my money to where I, when I move out, I'm going to have my own property. Like, it's deeper than that. Like, who, like, yeah, I'm 26, but I'm not in a rush to just move out here and just make mistakes and just waste money and rent in an okay a rent Yeah, yeah. And, and, why, and why I cut you off is because I talk to women like you every day who okay. all are making this. Same mistakes. What's the mistake? What should I do this, Kevin? What should uh, I do? Grow up. Grow up. Oh my God. You see, the girl even jumps. Even me, I'm just like, you know, I actually Googled this guy. This guy should be, he's like top 10 billionaires or wealthiest men in, in the world. His name is Bernard R. Ooh, Arnold. Yeah, that's his name. So he owns Louis Vuitton, right? And Louis Vuitton is the world's largest um luxury goods company he sells luxury goods when he started from the beginning i'm sure somebody like this kevin would have said that's a jerk of a business oh why because she's selling eyelashes who told you she cannot add something else into it who told you that because that's life and that's business and that's every other because you start up doing something and you realize that okay with this comes this as well and that as well i can start you expand you don't tell her that's a joke of a business and then you want her to move out of her house to go to where to waste money the sincere truth is you're wasting money i told you when i moved to my mother's house 
I was obviously like spending less money on, um, you know, estate deals and all those things. I could save. I could put the money back into my business. I could grow. You guys know where I sat in my mother's house. I, when I just got there, I was working. I was literally sitting down on a plastic chair in front of her wardrobe. You could literally see the growth. Look at me now. I literally have my own office space. But imagine if somebody had told me, that's a joke of a business. Just talking. Just giving your opinion. Just reacting to a show. That's a joke. Get, get a job. Just, no, just imagine. Oh, my story has been, I tried. But someone said it was a joke, and so I stopped. Who are you listening to? Why are you listening? Why? You... Okay, let's go. And then what? Tell me. And then what? Because Kevin, you get frustrated. Calm down. You get calm. Calm down. Okay, I'm calm. But you do get frustrated. Calm down. What did I say at the beginning of this thing, ladies? You talk too much. Don't talk to me like I'm a woman. Well, not, you cannot keep this rapid fire. You're not a woman, so leave woman matter alone now. She's talking to you like you're a woman. Guess because she's a woman. If you want to talk to a woman, project your mind that you're talking to a woman. Women, if you're a successful woman, well, you need to start a program where you can talk to younger ladies. You have to. If you're 50, you're successful. Men, take out... 30 minutes of your time and just create something talk because a lot of ladies are lost going to meet men to help them out men they have never been women before all their lives they don't know you don't imagine someone telling you last business is a joke how about you tell her how to grow the business i remember the first time i i met i've forgotten his name i wish i remember his name till now i remember what he said this was literally like maybe five months into my business and, and he looks at me and said what's your blog i said I told him talk to your homie.blogspot.com he was like you're not ready for this thing yet i'm like what do you mean he was like so do does come own it he didn't come and say you're a joke he was telling me exactly what to do he did not come and ask me do you have a man he's because he that was the problem he was telling me own it and i open talk to your homie does come he looked at me and said you know what just in my he gave me a question and i want to give you that you take you home he said, do you want to be, he said, what would you rather be? Would you rather be the plane or the airport? And we're all thinking, because it wasn't just me, there were guys there as well, yeah? And I was like, I, you know, I, I don't know what I said, but he was like, well, the airport is better because no matter what happens, the plane will always come and land on the airport. You get me? But if, you're, if you own a, 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 an airline, anything can happen to your plane. Literally anything can happen your business will go but if it's the airport no matter what happens the plane must land somewhere this is somebody who teach her don't come and tell her you just a joke of a business what is like oh man you get me i'm not your, you you know don't pester me like you're my little sister i'm like your dad i'm not that you got it listen you got it I'll... what she says i am trying to build up my credit did your credit have any any, uh, any dings on it well in the past but no, so no, no, no. How have you messed up your credit by age 26? Mind you, it look, when I was younger, like when I was younger, I did, it was something to where I didn't pay. Honestly speaking, I, I was in college and I kind of just was like, not going back no more. Cool. So didn't go back, but also being young and dumb just didn't pay the tuition that I owed. And then when am I... And, Back then, I was just really naive. I didn't think credit was important. I didn't know the importance of it until I had to make purchases to where, like, that's if you don't have the money. Why you, that's why you need a man. Oh, my God. That's why she needs a man. You see, this is why I said that he needs to let her tell him where she's coming from. Earlier, he just said that the age to marry was 22, right? But now this girl is literally telling you what her life was like when she was younger. And she's picking up herself she was making dumb decisions you know how they give them college um, i don't know how y'all do it in america i think they give whatever they shall give them loans student loan that's what it's called student loan you know while you're in school and she did not know the importance of credit then and i'm sure she wasn't listening to her parents obviously and so she spent her money imagine if that lady got married at 22 like you said kevin samuels imagine that's the mentality she has what kind of men will she attract what kind of man will she marry if she's a mentality where I'm not going to go to college, we're spending my tuition money, we're going to have fun. What kind of man will she meet? The 
problem is that she needs to deal with herself first as an individual. Not that she needs it. What? Okay, how does that mean? Oh, that's why you need a man. What does that mean? What does that mean? Because, because women, like it or not, would set to your own devices, more women end up self-destructing. Because y'all take life in general in your feelings in short term. Ma'am, you're 26, so the high Everyone school. can end up self-destructive if they don't do the things right and live their life right. Everyone can end up self-destructive, not women. Their men are ending up self-destructive too. How about you talk to them because you're a man and you're not, have never lived a self-destructive life in your life, I'm guessing, based on what you're saying. Well, talk to them, teach them how not to live a self-destructive life. And women who are grown, talk to other women as well. Because y'all take life in general in your feelings in short term. Ma'am, you're 26 with a high school diploma. Okay? That's just the net net of it. And you've already managed to uh, mess up your credit. If we're, if... Be quiet. Okay. I'm sorry. Just Stop quiet. me when I, when, I make, when I'm wrong. You're 26 with a high school diploma, right? Correct. You, it, by the age of 26, you've already managed to mess up your credit. Correct? Messed up, yes. Yes, you Correct. messed it up. Correct, And yes. And it shouldn't be messed up. If not, no, oh, no more. Oh, my God. But she's telling you that it's no, more, it's no longer messed up. She's literally telling you, and you're saying, oh, my God. Why do why okay why 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 is she why is she here why is she having this conversation with this guy you know he's not even listening to her he's just he's just saying his own why are you talking to this guy this is this is this is the modern this is because this is why so many this ladies I want you to understand mm -hmm. I'm doing this to show you guys why you need men oh my God. you're all, all over the place you have no direction no focus you just live life in a vibe that's a child. Children live like that. Children. No direction. You tell me you have a business, I knew you were going to tell me something along this beauty line. Because right. it's not a business, ma'am. It's, it's, it's not a business. It is a, Kevin, can I say not, one thing? No, you cannot. Hey, who did... Can you guys hear this thing that I'm hearing? The girl told you that at 22 she was still a kid. You said no. You're yeah, a grown-up adult. She's not telling you what she's at 22. You're calling her you are self-destructive. Listen. You're trying to say it's not a business. Let her even let, let her okay. Tell me why you think it's a business. It's your business. Tell me why you think it's a business. Let her tell you. Don't shut her down and shut her down and shut. God, I feel like crying for this girl. Kevin, can I it's, say one thing? No, you cannot. But what it is not, it is not a, it is not a, it, okay, so I'm going to talk to the, it's not a business. And see, the problem is people have allowed this woman to talk too much and no one sat her down and told her, shut up. Because, because no, be, your mother and father should have put you in some direction in you and told you, you need to get stable, young lady. You need a profession. If you're going to talk, be this way, you need a profession. Something that's going to be consistent, that's going to be able to be built on. Because the way you're going right now, you won't have a husband or a man. So you're going to have to be able to take care of yourself. Hey! <laughs> Boss my brain. Baba, I don't hear her. I don't. Today, I've heard it all. I've literally heard it all. This is, this, this is all. She needs to get a focus. She needs a clinical. No, but see, let's have... <sighs> my God. The way she's going, she's not going to have a husband. She's not going to have a man. Yeah, let's go.